Smith, ASMS Youth Vice President, is going to read from the series that was a favorite in my house with my son, Captain Underpants by Dave Hilton. So growing up, Captain Underpants was definitely one of my favorites, and when I looked at the uh, list of band books and saw that it was number one <laughs> on the list, I was like kind of shocked, so I had, definitely had to read it. Um, so I'm just going to read you the first uh, couple, first few pages, and there's some pictures, so I'll try to show them and describe them to you guys. So meet George, George Beard and Harold Hutchins. George is the on the left with the tie and the flat top, and Harold is the one on the right with the t-shirt and the back haircut. Remember that now. And the sign right here says, pick your own roses. That's important. George and Harold were best friends. They had a lot in common. They lived right next door to each other, and they were both in the same fourth grade class at Jerome Horowitz Elementary School. George and Harold were usually responsible kids. Whenever anything bad happened, George and Harold were usually responsible. <laughs> and the sign says, pick your noses now. <laughs> but don't get the wrong idea about these two. George and Harold were usually very nice boys. No matter what, everybody else thought they were good, sweet, and lovable. Well, okay, maybe they weren't so sweet and lovable, but they were good nonetheless. It's just that George and Harold each had a silly streak a mile long. Usually that silly streak was hard to control. Sometimes it got them into trouble, and one, once it got them into big, big trouble. But before I can tell you that story, I have to tell you this story. After a hard day of crackling jokes and pulling pranks and causing mayhem at school, George and Harold liked to rush to the old treehouse in George's backyard. Inside the treehouse were two big old fluffy chairs, a table, a cupboard crammed with junk food, and a padlocked crate filled with pencils, pens, and stacks and stacks of paper. Now, Harold loved to draw, and George loved to make up stories. And together, the two boys spent hours and hours writing and drawing their very own comic books. Over the years, they had created hundreds of their own comics, starring dozens of their own superheroes. First, there was Dogman. Then came Timmy the Talking Toilet. And who would forget the amazing cow lady? But the all-time greatest, all greatest superhero they ever made up had to be the amazing Captain Underpants. George came up with the idea. Most superheroes look like they're flying around in their underwear, he says, well, this guy actually is flying around in his underwear. <laughs> and you're welcome for me not dressing up. <laughs> the two boys laughed and laughed. Yeah, said Harold, he could fight with wedgie power. George and Harold, George and Harold spent entire afternoons writing and drawing the comic adventures of Captain Underpants. He was their coolest superhero ever. Luckily for the boys, the secretary at Jerome Horowitz Elementary School was much too busy to keep an eye on the copy machine. So whenever they got a chance, Harold and George would sneak into the office and run off several hundred copies of their latest Captain Underpants adventure. <laughs> After school, they sold their homemade comics on the playground for 50 cents each. And they go on to recap. <laughs>